What's up guys, welcome to another Rock On Vlog episode and man, if I'm honest I couldn't sleep a day before because today is the wrenching day and when I know that I'm gonna pip my stunt bikes uh, with tuning parts that probably gonna push my riding skills to the next level I'm way too nervous and curious today we got this huge package from WP suspension for both of those bikes the KTM 390 Duke stunt bike and the KTM 990 Duke drift bike yeah uh, next level stuff uh, and inside is my mechanic Alesh he's already waiting so we can start wrenching so long story short let's go start off with the suspension for the 390 Duke that's my stunt bike and yeah let's start off with this sexy part the rear suspension we got here the low speed and high speed compression rebound adjustment and a preload adjustment so all the adjustments you need for the 390 Duke out with a stock one in with a racing one Rear suspension done, that was the easy part, now the harder part is the front suspension. So we got those sexy open cartridge WP Apex Pro front cartridges and yeah they are uh, adjustable on preload, the spring preload and compression damping and rebound damping. So fully adjustable and yeah I hope this is gonna make my kangaroo stop this jump higher. The front fender. Uh, we have a front fender to give away actually. Remember, we have this one. If you watch one of the previous episodes where we built my KTM 790 Duke stunt bike, this is the front fender from it with my signature. Tell me the name of the sticker kit that we're gonna apply on that bike now. And the right answer was the Inferno. There was a lot of right answers and the first one is Verxi, Andreas, Mr. Bearded Mechanic. He said also Inferno sticker kit. I really like that rim plate makes the bike unique and badass. So you three guys, one of you is the winner. But the rule is who is now the fastest to send me uh, your address on my email. The email is here, wins the front fender. Thank you for participating and for everybody else. Good luck next time. Without you, I won't be anywhere close to finishing up today's wrenching. 
Uh, we're not done yet, Andrzej. We need to do a test. Where, where should we go? Mm, how about we go to a skate park or maybe a pump track? But yeah, it sounds like a challenge. Eh? It's been a long time since I took my stunt bike to a skate park. Uh, let's go stunt. We just got to my local skate park and now I have some challenges for you. Are you ready? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, it makes me nervous when I'm uh, at the skate park with my bike. You need to jump from there all the way to flat to really test out the new suspension. Okay. Are you nervous? Uh, let's see. Yeah. For the next challenge, I was thinking about riding a berm. That's called berm? We have the next challenge which was inspired by Fabio Widmer and it's 180 reverse down the stairs. Let's see if we can replicate this on a on a bike, yeah. We are now at the stunt spot. Skate park is behind us. It was a good warm-up session, Andre. Thank you for pushing me for that. No problem. <laughs> so we're gonna do now a Superman jump. The inspiration comes from my friend Benjamin Baldini, and it's actually a jump where you really test the rear suspension. So we're gonna try it out with the KTM 390 Duke. We have this Apex Pro rear shock already on it, and yeah, we're gonna try how. I can jump with a current setup and then we're gonna adjust it and see if we can improve it. Let's go! Man, I'm jumping like a proper frog. <laughs> Probably still not there as a Superman. But yeah, you can feel the huge difference when you have a suspension that you can adjust. The first round of jumps was the rebound somewhere in the middle. And now we opened up the rebound so you can feel that there is more force to push you up. But yeah, the suspension works really wonders because it's so adjustable. It's never the best to have maximum or rebound or maximum compression. So you need to find your sweet spot. Uh, and also it helps not only on this Superman jumps, but also when I jump around in the circle wheelies and it makes my jumps faster. I love that. I just need more time to find my sweet spot on the, on, on the new rear WP Apex Pro shock. And yeah, let's continue with the, with the next tests. Next stop, front suspension. How I want to test it out is in the stoppies because uh, a good suspension or let's say a racing suspension should allow me to roll longer because it should absorb the bumps better than the stock one. And also if you do a lot of stoppies or you race with it, the oil in the suspension usually gets really high in the temperature and the racing suspension can absorb that heat better. So all that things should lead into longer stoppies. Let's see if this is true, let's go.
what an amazing day from the skate park to my favorite stunt spot here at the Vransko training facility and yeah the drifts are done really funny or interesting thing that happened is that I actually get way more grip on my rear tires because of the suspension catching up all the uneven stuff that happens in the surface that means that yeah I need to put even more pressure into the rear tires to be able to do the continuous drifts so I'm super happy with the new upgrade and now I need to change some other things like brakes and stuff to yeah to catch up with the with the new suspension so I can do uh, all the tricks on the next level and yeah that's it if you are interested in this kind of upgrades the WP suspension has the suspension from Lil Dukes the 790, 890 Duke, the new 990 and the new Super Duke and of course also the off-road bikes. You can check their website and you can see the link in the description below. And that's it guys, see you in the next one. Until then, rock on!